The next license is an, a licensed clinical social worker, an LCSW. I'm partial to that because I'm an LCSW. So an LCSW is a licensed social worker with specialized training in clinical practice. Um, they provide, we provide, mental health services including assessment, diagnosis, and therapy. In some respects, we're the workhorses of the mental health profession. The LMFT and the LCPC, the ones that I talked about a little bit ago, those master's level psychologists, are actually newer programs. Um, you know, they've been around for, uh, I would say, maybe at least 40 years, but social work has been around since uh, the early 1900s. So uh, we are, clinic licensed clinical social workers tend to be the workhorses of the profession. We are widespread across the country in a variety of populations. But again, an LCSW is a clinical license, so that's our specialty. Generally, individuals you know, who are LCSWs need a master's degree in social work. We again have to complete those supervised hours, typically 3,000, and we have to successfully pass the Association of Social Work Board's clinical level exam. Finally, the licensed psychologist, the LLPs, or as I mentioned before, they tend to go just by their, um, their academic degree, PhD or PsyD. Um, so these licensed psychologists are professionals with doctoral degrees in psychology who are licensed to assess, diagnose, and treat mental health and emotional health disorders. Generally, individuals need that doctoral degree in psychology and completing a certain number of supervised hours. It varies between 1,500 and 2,000 typically. And the successful passage of an examination for professional practice in psychology, the EPPP exam. Um, and typically, licensed psychologists also have had additional internships or fellowships where they have uh, practiced prior to getting licensed. So. Um, it's important to know, again, the distinctions between these four that I'm laying out for you today. Um, generally speaking, LCPCs, the Licensed profession, Clinical Professional Counselors, and LCSWs, the Licensed Clinical Social Workers, are the ones who are going to be providing most of the talk therapy for the general population. Um, depending on the individual person, they may work with children or adolescents, adults. They also might do marital therapy or family therapy as well. So it's kind of across the board. The LMFTs, by and large, again, are trained with a specialty in marriage and family therapy. It doesn't mean that they don't see um, clients beyond that, but again, that's gonna be their specialty and where the focus of their training has been. Psychologists, uh, it's a little bit more interesting. Uh, the PsyDs uh, particularly are trained in clinical practice versus the PhDs by and large. It's a little bit more of an academic degree having to do with research. There are lots of exceptions to that, but in general, that's how those two degrees were designed. The thing that um, psychologists, these, these doctoral level psychologists can do that the other licenses that I talked about previously are not able to do is that they're able to do testing. So if you want to get some sort of um, psychological exam um, and you need that, you know, to get, um, for example, accommodations uh, at school or in a job, you need to see a PsyD or a PhD who does testing. Um, as you research that, just ask them the question, you know, first look for those, those uh, credentials and then ask the question, do you provide testing for this type of testing that you're looking for? For a child of this age, uh, you know, we're looking to get accommodations for ADHD or something else. So um, hopefully that has provided kind of a broad brush. Again, it's really useful to ask the, um, the therapist or the clinician what their degree means exactly. Find out if they have the clinical licensure to practice independently. In Illinois, that generally means four letters, unless you're a psychologist at the doctoral level. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, uh, as I was talking about uh, social workers, we also have a provisional license um, degree. That's the LSW, the licensed social worker. Again, it's three letters, not four, so that they are provisionally licensed under the supervision of someone else. I think the uh, licensed marriage and family therapists have something similar, but there, quite frankly, are very few of them in the state of Illinois, so I'm not quite sure what that provisional license credential is. 
So hopefully uh, this has been helpful to you to tease out the different uh, credentials here in the state of Illinois as you're considering moving ahead with therapy. Know that credentials some, can sometimes change over time. So if you see something that you're not familiar with, ask the therapist. It's really a, a good thing to do.